Good morning to each and every one of you. My name is I Am, and I am the voice of God. I am the Ancient of Days. I am He that was and is, and behold, I am alive forevermore. I want to talk to you this morning about a few things, and I'm just going to ramble on, you know, it's it's quite a bit that the Lord has has spoken unto me, and I know those of you who have an ear will hear. This is the time of the outpouring of the Spirit of God. This is the time of the outpouring of knowledge and vast information. Are you getting it? Getting it while the getting is good. You see, it's all about knowledge. It's all about will. Whosoever will, let him come. I am that I am because I love God. And because I love God, God has re- assured me that he also loves me. He loves me by the outpouring of his spirit upon me. He loves me by the manifestation of power within me. God moves and breathes and abide in me and I in him. Who, beloved, are you? If you draw nigh to God, he will draw nigh unto you. Again, seek your name. Your name is spiritual. Your name is divine. Your name is what defines you at this time and what can propel you. Seek God for your name. And I want to inform all of you who know God. Not those of you who are religious, not those of you who attend church, but those of you who know God. I want to inform you that you are pregnant. Makes no difference whether you are male or female. You are pregnant. Adam knew Eve and begat Cain. You know God and you are pregnant. What are you pregnant with? You are pregnant with child. You are pregnant with a man child that shall rule the nation. Unto us a child is born. Unto us a son is given. And the government shall be upon his shoulder. Everlasting father and prince of peace is he. We are pregnant, my beloved. This is the time of change. This planet shall be delivered unto the glorious liberty of the sons of God. And we too shall be changed in a moment and in a twinkling of an eye. Calculate, my beloved, what a twinkling of an eye is. One day is a thousand years with the Lord. I say calculate what the twinkling of an eye is. Be rooted in God, my people. Be rooted in him. Allow him to guide you into all that you do, all that you undertake. You see, we are self-initiated. Again, you need not that empty man teach you. But because you know God, you hear God, and you move according to his will, according to his dictate. We exalt not ourselves, but those who wait upon the Lord shall what? Renew their strength. Their strength is always constantly renewed because they trust in God. Hence, there is no death to he that is spiritual. There is no death to the Son of God. From faith to faith, 
from glory to glory, world without end. Humble yourself before God and allow him to exalt you. This is the time we live in, my beloved. We live in the time of change. Again, we are self-initiated. You need not that any man or any organization. Now, I have nothing against different organizations. But you go into that house, you receive that which God has ordained for you to receive. And then you leave, you move on. Many of us have come out of churches. You are well aware of this. Many of us are still in churches. But if that church is not growing and abounding in the wisdom and knowledge of God, you should not dwell there, my beloved, unless God has you there for a divine purpose. You see, we must not become stagnant because stagnation is death. Change is a constant. Move with the move of God. God is a resonance. God is a frequency that cannot be denied, that cannot be quenched. This is, beloved, the time of change. And all your getting, get overstanding. Get wisdom that you may know what the will of God is. We are self-initiation. Initiated wherever he leads, that is where ye shall follow. Now, we receive according to our giving. Did you hear what I said? Therefore, they sing that song of men of a church during the time of offering. You can't beat God's giving, no matter how hard you try. The more you give, the more He gives you. Now, I'm not talking about just monetarily here. Matter of fact, I'm not talking about monetarily at all. I'm talking about spiritual. I'm talking about spiritual gifts that he gives unto you. Now, don't cast your pearls before swine, but give as God leads and guides you to give. And see, won't God increase unto you, both spiritually and financially. Never have I seen the righteous forsaken, or his seed begging bread. God is that blessed assurance. Peace, my beloved, and know that I love you. We are self-initiated. Those who seek shall find, those who ask shall receive, and those who knock, the door shall be open. Peace, my beloved.